again, so I'm up, Buggy. Meow. Onion has say yo. Hayo gozaimasu. Misuzu. How is everybody doing today? I hope you're all doing well. Hello, hello. I'm doing okay. So today, we're going to be playing more Yakuza Like a Dragon. Yeah! I'm excited to get back into this game because the story is like... Getting suspenseful. Okay. We have to go save! Or, yeah, we have to go save our brother. And something about a meeting at 2 a.m. Hmm. Let me know if audio is okay. So let us get right into it. Hello, hello, everybody! Go to the homeless camp. Okay, thank you. Hello? Hmm? No hmm? hat. The voice pack is something else. Oh, I hope you all enjoyed it if you bought it. Hmm? We're just picking up random trash I guess. Oh, some dude! Okay. 
place to bring up uh, maybe oh this is no place to bring a proper young lady chief what happened to non Chiban? excuse me well he got himself into some trouble so we'd like to take a look at his stuff no no i didn't take any of them they stayed up so i'm like kind of running on like three hours sleep Combination of sweat and mold? Okay. Yeah, it reeks in here. See anything that might help us find where he is? Hey. Hey, what about in here? A laptop? Not exactly a common homeless commodity. <laughs> I'd say that's right on the money. Searches that'll come through hmm? the whole hard drive. Searches? Yeah. If the search gets a hit, we'll check out the file. Mm. Uh, hit? Hey! Just shut up and watch, would you? I'm not much of a computer guy myself. Let's let her handle this one. Yeah, I know, I know. Sachan, you know computers and stuff? I did make Cubs books, so I earned enough, so I learned enough. Am I finally earning some respect around here? Absolutely. Please be our sage in this faded hour. Hmm? Huh? This one's suspicious. A Gene Show Incident Draft version 2. Yeah, let's see what's in that one. Hey, you know these computers too? Well, I clearly know more than you. <sighs> you traitor! 
Is this an article he was writing for a magazine? It says it was written by Shoichi Akiba. <clears throat> Shoichi Akiba! That's Namba's brother! Yeah! Um, mysterious fake money emerges in Jinshin. The truth behind the rumors. Where are the counterfeit bills? The truth behind the rumors. Yo. Check it out. It says the rumors about the fake money started over 50 years ago. He really did his homework on all these old documents. Now this brother is pretty good. Hey, yeah. Hey, is this true? It says the fake money can be traced to the chair of the Citizens Liberal Party. Mm -hmm. That would be Ogikubo, right? He's at the top of the political party. Well, Yokohama is Okikubo's district, but it doesn't seem likely that it would go all the way up to him. CLP party chair, Yutaka Okikubo. Counterfeit money ended up in party that I can't read the best. Yutaka Okikubo? What's his deal? Okay. He's almost 80 years old, making him the oldest member of the CLP. Although people say the Prime Minister himself is just Ogikubo's yes-man, he's got major political clout. Sounds like kind of a fixer. Hmm... Sounds shady as heck to me. Actually, he's never been dragged into anything scandalous over his years, unlike most of the big politicians. That's probably how he stuck around for so long, to be honest. But theoretically, if the, mo if the fake money is going to Ogikubo, does that mean he's linked to the Gumi Jewel? And that purple-haired harpy? <sighs> Isn't that harpy a bird? But in that case, it wouldn't be just the Gumi Jewel. Xiao from Lu Meng would have to be in on it. He's the one providing the paper, right? But skimming this article, I don't think there was much of a smoking gun in here. So all the business about Ogikubo being involved is just unsubstantiated rumors. Okay. True. Even if the article went out, it'd just be libelous. And people would probably write it off as being gossip or tabloid nonsense. But as for us, we actually know the fake money exists. Right. Which means we have to assume that there's some kernels of truth in this article. George, thank you for the super chat! A harpy is a hybrid bird human. Oh, okay. But even with that being said, isn't it kind of a stretch to connect Ogikubo to the counterfeiting? I see. Oh, people coming in! Hmm, something just made sense. What did? Nanba knew about his brother's article from the start of this whole thing. So when he saw the misprinted fake bill that I had on me, he played dumb, but it must have made him jumpy. No doubt, that's probably when he realized his brother's story had some truth to it after all. And this was probably his first sign of hope in a long time. That's gotta be why he latched onto me like he did. Damn. Dang it! I wish I would've known this sooner. You didn't do anything wrong. So, the Komi Jewel boss still has your bill? Yeah, yeah, he, she has to return his bill! Yeah, I'll have to get it back from her next time we meet. You think she'll just hand it back to you? Let's focus, guys. The only thing we've learned here is Okikubo's name. <sighs> There's nothing here that would give us any hints about where Nanba went. We're meeting we're meeting up with her at 2 a.m., right? Yep. Yeah. We should probably start heading toward heading to Heian Tower. You think the person she wants us to meet is Okikubo himself? A politician? No way!
Excuse me. Nah.
Right. Try this on for size. Let the outfit go away. Here we go. Let's go. Going in. Come here. about me, though? Would my clothes pass? Eh, I'd say you're about the same boat as Ichigo. I knew I should have changed. Hey! As I was saying, we're not here to eat. <laughs> <laughs> I guess not. Shall we then? Uh, nobody's here. You sure this is the place? Aw, are you scared? Don't be so wimpy. I thought you were a cop. That was a long time ago. I'm a driving instructor now. Ah, Dachi-san's just allergic to fancy restaurants, that's all. He's a man of basic tastes. It's true. I only ever go to fast food joints. Ugh, that's so gross. Also true. Right on time. Uh, but everyone's already yes. inside, waiting for you. Oh, well, we weren't late, so you don't get an apology. And I wasn't expecting one. I just thought I'd let you know. Of course, now you're making them wait further. Whatever. And who is them, by the way? You'll see. Go in, please. There's no need to worry, Kasuga-san. You have the Jungihan guarantee that no harm will come to you here. Hard to trust the guy who was pointing a gun at me just a few hours ago. Ah, but now we are outside the bounds of the Great Wall of Muscle. That changes things. Come in! That was 
Songhui. Here we go. Yo, Kasuga-kun, mm. how you doing? Shao. Smarmy guy. And. <laughs> Uncle Andros. <sighs> hey, what's up with the old guy? Watch it. That's Ryuhei Hoshino, the Seiryu Clan chairman. What? But if he's here, then that would mean they're... Yeah. The Aegean Three. All the leaders gathered in the same spot. Kasuga. Okay, really? this is going think you can tell us what the hell is going on yeah, here? Leg up on the chair. <sighs> Shall? Please, step inside. Hey, aren't these three supposed to be fighting a war? Supposed to be. Kind of a weird place for us to meet, Chairman Hoshino. Especially considering the three of you look more like you're ready to have a tea party than tear each other's throats out. Usually we meet only once a year. Unless there's a need to share information face to face, as we must now. We always do what it takes to keep the Great Wall intact. Your men are killing each other out there. You don't want to stop them? Stop them? Two of my youngest men were gunned down without mercy. Liamang Turf's been raided right up to the perimeter of their base. There's no stopping any of it now. At this point, whoever retreats first will have lost the war. I can't lay down my spear until that happens. That's pretty much the same deal for me. So then why are you two here? Mm. Gonna decide the war over a game of cards? <laughs> Not the worst idea. What the fuck? People are dying! And meanwhile, you three are just hanging out playing nice? Think your men would approve? Do any of you even care what your own people think? Kasuga, there's no need to throw fits about what you don't understand. Do you know right now Captain Takabe is Xiao's prisoner? <laughs> prisoner? We're treating him more like an uninvited guest. Honestly, I'd let him go if I had one good reason to. I just don't, that's all. So you're going to sit here? do nothing. Just let the chips fall where they may. That's how it needs to be. A Ooh. bunch more pointless deaths is how it needs to be? They're not pointless. Our men's willingness to fight is the entire reason we're able to serve as checks on each other. As long as the triangle remains balanced, it can hold firm against outside pressure. It's much like how Japan established separation of powers after the end of its dictatorship. It's not perfect, but it's the best solution we have. Do you see the logic there? Oh boy, a post-war history lesson. What? That's what you're comparing it to, yeah. right? Yes, because it's relevant. The post-war period is when the town's lines of power were drawn. Huh? The black market was born from the ashes of the war. It laid the foundation for modern-day Jincho. Back then, the Seiryu clan was thriving. But in Chinatown, two rival Chinese gangs were competing for dominance. The winner of that fight prospers in Chinatown to this day. The gang that lost 
became the Yokohama Liuman. They were driven out of Chinatown and into Ichincho. But the Seryu clan wasn't about to take that kind of invasion lying down. For a time, Gutters practically ran with Liumang and Seryu blood. Man, you're gonna lecture until the bell rings, Professor? You want to understand what's going on? Then you need the history, you smartass. If you want to understand the fake money, that yeah, yeah, yeah. is. The Seryu clan knows about that? Yes. All the fake money printed by the Komi Jewel goes through me. But doesn't that mean the Seryu clan is the real puppet master behind all this? How do you figure that? Mabuchi started forging Chinese Yuan, sure. But only because of the counterfeit yen. I think I'm starting to figure all this out. The Liu Mang brings in the paper. The Komi Jewel prints the bills. But then, the Seiryu clan keeps all the profit? Wait, are you all in this together? Kasuga-kun, calm down. You're jumping to conclusions. Because I'm pissed off right now. First, I'm kidnapped, accused of being a Seiryu Yakuza, then blamed for being the spark that ignites a war, nearly killed over Namba's thing. Now I'm here with the Ijing Three, who, by the way, don't even give a shit about the war! Tell me, why should I calm down? He's got a point. And you, with your damn Seiryu clan, you're the one getting the most out of this! No, because we're not the final destination of the fake Yen. That will be Yutaka Ogikubo's pocket. Yutaka Ogikubo? I saw his name in an article. He's some big shot in the Citizens' Liberal Party. All three of you are working together to support him politically? Why? Huh. Suddenly my history lesson seems relevant, doesn't it? <sighs> Fine. Get on with it. Uh, Ogikubo is like the man who proposed making fake money in a Jincho. This was 60 years ago. He pitched the idea to the first Seryu chairman and first Liu Mang boss. A politician suggested committing federal crime to a bunch of gangsters? For real? At the time, Ogikubo was only a member of the city council. But he saw the fights breaking out between the long-established Seryu clan and the newly arrived Liu Mang. He understood it was, in essence, a turf war. Knowing that, he looked for solutions to stop the bloodshed, solutions that would save lives. And eventually, he managed to find an answer. Fake money, of all things. Industry. Which in this case is, yes, fake money. Okikubo split the roles up evenly. That way, both organizations would have a common goal. The Liu Mang would import special paper, right, if the Seryu like, clan would see, print see, and see, transport see, the see, money. How did Ogi Kubo know the counterfeiting process? Well, he didn't at first. But since he had faith in his plan and a desire for peace, he used every single connection he had to collect the raw materials, plus the recipe. Counterfeiting wasn't that difficult back then. Currency didn't have all the security features it has now. It's only gotten harder over the years. But anyway, after the first batch was printed, Agikubo used it to bribe the cops. The cops? Not the Seiryu clan or the Liu Mang? There would have been no point in paying His up ear those holes two. Are large. That the conflict sky. goes deeper. Agikubo understood that. Okay, but why give it to the police? They wanted to control them, of course. And in the blink of an eye, they became his loyal servants. That ought to surprise no one, given how corruptible law enforcement tends to be. Anyway, Ogikubo had his new minions in uniform crack down on one certain region of Ijincho. Like his ears well, aren't large. That his doesn't ear sound holes. like such a bad thing. Yeah, he was making the city safer, right? Now, that was just a side effect of what he really wanted. To squash every attempt by the Seiryu to drive out the Liuman. All police resources were dedicated to that one goal. It created a tiny pocket of Ijincho that was essentially violence-free. Well, I bet that worked out great for the Leo Mung. Oh, and you're the sharp one, I take it. Yes. That zone became the Liu Mung's home. So there it was. A place controlled by a criminal organization, but with low crime. The 
first gray zone. And the Seiryu clan just accepted that. Hmm? Why would they give up their territory and all its income streams like that? Because they were getting continuous payouts from the counterfeiting operation. And that wasn't the only thing. Anytime one of us did something that normally would have landed us in hot water, Okikubo would contain it. He kept it off police reports. That kept us from losing men to the law. So there were plenty of benefits for us. All while we kept our honor. This Ogikubo's a pretty shrewd guy. Nah. He just used some old tricks every politician knows. Oh. Well, perhaps. Politicians correct? But do you understand now how we benefit from him? Yeah. What? Yeah, I get it. And my people reap those benefits also. I wouldn't be corrupt if I were running In the for 80s, office. the Komi Joel was saved by the Ijincho Gray Zone. How? Our parent organization was the Jingon Mafia, which formed decades ago in Korea. Even only a few years ago, he was a body double for their leader. But every time the Jingon Mafia got crushed, some of its people would drift to Ijincho. My mother was one of those. I was young when she brought me here. Ijincho was a breath of fresh air after living so long under their ridiculous code. More and more people heard about the relief we found here. So more came. But then our safety was threatened by something else. As our numbers grew, so did our clashes with the Yokohama Liomong. You started fighting them? Not outright. Ogikubo stepped in. Right before a real war erupted. He brought us a proposal, that we take over the Seiryu's counterfeiting business. It was an offer of steady income and safe territory. How could we refuse? In return, Ooh, we would perform the stream. surveillance necessary to contain the secret. That's how we started to build a system that now monitors every inch of Ijincho. It became our way to contribute to the smooth running of Ijincho. Alongside Joy, the thank Seiryu you for the and super Leoma. chat. I don't know what you mean. So that's the origin story behind the that's Ichi democracy at play. Ever since, we've all supported Ogikubo. And he's supported us in kind. He used the huge streams of money from us to secure his seat at the helm of the Citizens' Liberal Party. Now, no one in the cabinet can speak against him. After masterminding a way to bring peace to the city, he moved up in the world. Uh, there are corruption. worse ways to climb the yeah. ladder, but I can't condone it. It's still a cover-up. <laughs> really? So you would say even perfect results don't matter if the methods are flawed? What about the police themselves? What about their alliance this with all the Yakuza which grew from the scorched earth of post-war Japan? Light and dark joined hands to rebuild, and that's how we got where we are today. You can't deny the ends justify the means. Okay, but does uh, everybody have to well, be killing themselves outside? Why does it even matter what happened? Who cares about that stuff right now? It's all in Eugene Show's past. What we gotta think about is its future. So why'd you call us here? What do you want? <laughs> Stop meddling. What's the Ijin 3 gonna do with us and Nanda? Your friend Nanda-kun, during his search for his brother, spied on us and invaded our privacy. I assume he began with the fake bills because that was his brother's subject of investigation. But he was reckless, digging through Komi Jewel affairs like a rabid raccoon. Right from the start, he's refused to show any respect to the Ijin 3. Now he's seen the counterfeiting for himself, and we have no idea where he is. We must ensure his permanent silence. What? Why are you telling us this? You looking to make a deal for his life or something? A deal? Kasuga, under most circumstances, all your lives would be forfeit. <laughs> but I have some idea of how this fake bill ended up in your pocket. What? Huh? You do? Out of respect for this person, I will look the other way. Eh? But who the hell was it? If you really want to know, you'll have to bring Namba to me. Personally. We can't do that to Nanchan. 
Sure is tempting. Kasago, but I'll pass. Nothing I need to know so bad that I'd sell out a friend. So we done here? You do realize, if word gets out about the counterfeiting, the Great Wall will crumble. I don't care and that means the end of the Grey Zone. Yeah, that would suck. For you. Look, the Great Wall keeps the peace with less than honorable means, sure. But it provides a safe haven for desperate souls with nowhere left to turn. Yeah, man, I get all that. Well, here's what you don't get, you moron. When we what? say no one gets in, that includes the Tojo clan and the Omi Alliance. So see, if we're talking about people who owe their lives to the Grey Zone, you're one of them, Kasuga-kun. Uh, what? After you were shot, the only reason the Omi didn't finish you off is because you were inside the zone. What are you trying to say? That I owe something to the city? Go ahead and act like you're above it all. But you've benefited from our operation as much as any of us. Fine. Still doesn't mean I'm gonna sell out a friend. Before you insist on that, I have something important to say. What? Yeah, what? We already have assassins hunting Namba. What the hell? Who's yeah. assassins? Mine. Somebody had to step up. That's Stepping up in guy. your book? Hunting an innocent man? Unlike you, Kazuka. I don't turn down attractive offers. But don't worry. I told my guys to make it painless. But uh, my men have gotten a little rough lately. You son of a bitch. Call him off! No can do. I think one death for the sake of the whole city is worth the price. What do you say to our offer now? If you refuse, Namba will die. But aren't you gonna kill him all the same if we bring him to you? Instead of worrying about that, worry about getting to him first. Your clock's Daniel ticking. Daniel Mickey! Thank hey, you for the we don't even tech. know where to look. I may have an idea. Well, there you go. Oh, BTS! So, Kasuga, you were here. given all this, what will you do? I mean, guess I'm rescuing Namba from your stupid assassins. Talk to Jungi Hun. Hey, yeah. Go. So where's Namba then? There's no indica there's no indication he's left a gene show. That would be impossible while the Komi Jewel has him in our sights. Hmm? Could he have gone to the police? I don't think he would risk that. He'd have no way of knowing which officers are sympathetic to the EG3. I can I only have a certain number of boy voices, K. Okay? Yes. If I were Nanda-san, I would think Bleach Japan would have my best bet. Hmm? Yeah. Bleach Japan? I see. I get it. It's possible that they would be willing to protect him, huh? I've already increased the surveillance detail on Bleach Japan office. We haven't sighted him there yet, but it's possible he's already inside. Hey, yeah. 
What should we do, Ichi Pun? Let's say we catch Namba and bring him here. What would you guys do to him? That's not my call to make. However, if you do nothing, the Liamang assassins will eventually succeed. It's only a matter of time. Damn it! We don't have time for this, Kasuga. If we're gonna find him first, we have to take the best bet. Sup? Where's Bleach Japan's office? The Hakuryo building on Carriage Way. The Yokohama branch is on the second floor. I never played Devil May Cry. to Haku the old building. いらっしゃいませ。ありがとうございました。
張りますかそうですか。
Damn it. Bullseye. <laughs> ah! 
Damn it. Oh, there's Woo here. I realize. Okay, okay. That's a pun. Yeah! 
Dutch Japan? I can see the lights on the second floor. Someone's in there. Yo. Who knows what's waiting for us in there? Let's be careful. Oh boy. Beat it! Shino! Haku! Aki! Haku! Dio! Beat it! I will go behind the counter to order food. Combo meals. Who's hungry? Me! Me. Mm. <clears throat> Arigatou gozaimashita. Should I open it? Mm. Got it! Time it is? Uh, hello to you too. Kume-san, right? Sorry to barge in like this, but I wanted to see if our buddy was here. You... 
How did you know? Yo, Ichiban. Hey, I knew you'd find a decent place to hide. Hey, man, we gotta hurry. The Ejing Three sent Liu Meng assassins after you. The Liu Meng? Not Gomiju? Hmm. Is it just you three? No backup? Need just backup. us, sorry to say. I see. And you have business with Nambasan? Yeah. And who are you? I haven't seen you around. <laughs> and here I thought people were watching more TV these days. Who are you? Oh, I know you. You're the director of Bleach Japan. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen you on TV. My name is Ogasawara. I'm here lending my support to our Yokohama branch. The Grey Zone in Ijincho is one of the worst in the country. The police have just given up on it. But still, I never expected to find this. Counterfeiting legal currency? <laughs> Atrocious. So Namba spilled the beans, huh? Let's not mess around. You guys need to get out of here, now. We'll even go with you if it'll help you escape. That includes you, Namba. Kasuga, was this your plan all along? <laughs> Why exactly do I need to turn and run? It's not just the Komichu who are involved. The heads of the Seiryu clan and Yokohama Liumang are in on it. They sent the assassins after Namba because he knows their secret. You're screwed if you're here too, civilian or not. Ogasawara-san, I think this guy's bluffing with all the assassin talk. He's just trying to ruffle some feathers. No need to panic. No, I think he's telling the truth. Yeah. What? To be honest, I thought you might be assassins yourselves. Yeah. But not once you said it was just you three. That's not great wall of muscle strength. Um, I don't get it. Aren't assassins supposed to be in small groups? Oh, dear, dear Kumekun. You have so much to learn about these criminals. But ignorance often breeds courage, and that's what I needed in the Eijin Cho arm of Bleach Japan. That's. Uh. Ogasawara san. This guy is weird. What are you getting at? Ogasawara. No kidding. You sure you're a civilian? Yeah. <laughs> of course yeah. I am. Yeah. I just know more about the criminal underworld than your average dipshit. What is with this guy? He's rude. I think it's about time you come out. Lao Ma. Lao Ma? Mabuchi, why are you here? I'll handle this, Director. Thank you. My service is customer satisfaction guaranteed. Then we'll take our leave. Let's go. What? Hey, Namba, wait! I already told them all about the counterfeit bills. I just want to find my brother. Whether he's alive or otherwise. Uh, um, Ogasawara-san, what about me? This guy. Mabuchi. Mabuchi. <laughs> Give this simpering piece of human garbage a fitting end. Didn't think this is where I'd finally see your mug. No, of course not. My own boss doesn't know I'm here. That said, I did want to meet you. I haven't been able to give you a message from Nonomiya! Yeah, we have to do What? Yeah! Slice him up however you want. <laughs> right.
made an appearance what the hell is up with that spear thing oh, i've seen it before on a statue of guan yu it's a legendary chinese weapon huh. so mabuchi puts himself on a level with ancient chinese heroes he if he does he's in for a rude name. awakening when i break his little stick cool i'm not that you're not oh, yeah. scared of my spear are you You're gonna get it. Gotta do something.
You're gonna be in a world. Good idea. Uh. I got this. I'm up. <laughs> Going. <laughs> Here we go. Stream status poor. Uh, I have to call another tech or something. No buffering now, but some choppiness still. That's depressing. So even with this stupidly expensive... ...thingamajig, it's still... ...problems. Yeah, it says streams to... Ah, oh, now it says excellent. Hmm. Okay. Here are ya. Here we go. I'm ready now. Cool. You want to go? You're going to be in a world. Check this out. You're going to win this shit. Oh, yeah? Ah! Oh. Mabushi's getting serious now. Yeah, I think he's in a bad mood. Is that literally fire coming out of him? That's your game of way talking again. But fire or not, oh, he's angry as hell. No problem. Let's just deal with him. I got this. What? <laughs> Gotta do something about this. No! You're in it now. Let's go! Let's go! Let's try this again. Let's get it done! Ah! You wanna go? I'm not backing down. Go away! 
Still talk. Hell? Are you enjoying this, you creep? Are you the one who killed our boss? I am. And I did. I slaughtered him. And hung him like a pig on a hook. Well, to start a fight with the Seiryu clan? <laughs> As they say, I was just following orders. Who told you to pull this kind of shit? The what man you, you were just allowed to escape. Me the too. director right, of Bleach Japan, Ogasawara. Oh. He's the one who ordered you to kill Nonomiya? Oh. Why would he do that? <laughs> because what he's after is Ichincho itself. What's he on about? <laughs> He wants to expose where Yutaka Ogikubo gets all his money. <sighs> to do that, he had to put just a tiny crack in the Great Wall. <laughs> a crack? You mean Nonomiya's death? I don't get it. Ogasawara ordered a hit so he could get rid of the Grey Zone? <laughs> He's a Bleach Japan guy? I thought they were a bunch of goody two-shoes! My question is, why would you do their bidding, Mabuchi? Why do something that would turn the Ejin 3 against you? <sighs> Ogasawara has bigger, badder friends than the Ejin fleas. What do you mean? <sighs> the Great Wall. The Ejin 3. That's all over. The invasion starts tomorrow. Invasion by who? Invasion? By Bleach Japan? No. <laughs> Is there a third you still country? don't get it? Come on, Kasuga. What? The backers of Bleach Japan are the Omi Alliance in Kamurocho. <laughs> are you shitting me? I'm going to be Jincho's version of Masumi Arakawa. I'll sell this whole town to the Omi and get rewarded handsomely for it. <laughs> They'll probably make me an officer. It's what I... <laughs> Don't ever compare yourself to Arakawa-san again. <laughs> Guys, if the Omi Alliance is coming here... Yeah, about that. Let's go get that bastard Ogasawara to give us the lowdown. Well, he and Namba went into that back room over there. Yeah, I saw. Let's go find him. Namba! Have you turned against Ogasawara's us? Ogasawara's gone. He went out an exit further back. Namba? Bleach Japan is gonna blow the lid off the counterfeiting scheme, which will crush the Komi Jewel. Maybe, just maybe, they'll find my brother too. Nanchan. If only I could have done it myself. No one's ever meant more to me than my brother. Look at the life I've endured to try to find him. Did you see which way Ogasawara went? You really should steer clear of this mess, Ichiban. I just want to have some words. Stay out of it. Just stay out of it, man! 
Hey, you need to just focus on yourself right now. You got assassins after you. Just find somewhere to hide, at least until tomorrow. Mabuchi told us the Omi Alliance is coming tomorrow. They're invading. The game. It'll be chaos. That's your chance to slip away, you get me? Can you do that? I didn't ask for your advice. Look, are we not friends? As much as this sucks for you, can you please think about the rest of us too? Shut up! Think yeah. about what Mabuchi and Ogasawara did. Do you, yeah. They murdered Nonomiya out of pure greed. I know. But I need their help to find my brother. <laughs> Guys, would you like put your little sister? Really? On You're just leaving? Priority like this? Wanna stop me? Go for it. Hell, attack me from behind. I don't care. You know we'd never pull that kind of shit. Don't be stupid, man. We're still buds. Ugh, don't say that shit. Are we not buds? <laughs> Ichiban. Hey, no, I know how this crap this feels, this but we don't have time for it. Let's focus on the task at hand. Searching this Bleach Japan office. I think it's back there. And this is our chance. No one's around. Yeah, you're right. of Bleach Japan. Oh, shit. What's up? Uh, this picture. Okay, okay. About... The guy shaking hands with Ogasawara. I know him. Yeah, that's Ryo Aoki, the governor. That's back when he was younger. And considering the backdrop there, probably around the time he and Ogasawara started Bleach Japan together. Aoki had to leave his post in order to run for governor, though. He's governor? But... He's supposed to be dead. Huh? In Kamrocho. Someone told me he died. I thought it was true. Well, I don't follow. You know Ryo Aoki? Not Aoki. I know him as. Ah! I thought his face looked kind of familiar. A young master. What? His name is Masato Arakawa. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> During next week's budget deliberations, the opposition party is going to fight you tooth and nail. <laughs> Those fossils pushing for highway funding. It sounds like they're strongly against the infrastructure cuts. I imagine it's going to be a long fight. But you do have an appearance scheduled for that evening. Should I cancel it or maybe try to reschedule? I have an appearance? Oh, yeah. Isn't this the one for that newspaper? They invited a bunch of kids to that, I thought. Yes, sir. Let's not cancel it, then. Wouldn't it look bad? I'm sure those parents have spared no expense making sure their children look presentable for an occasion like this, right? Maybe also have, like, a clean life I'm or sure, now. but it'll be fine. I'm gonna run circles around those windbags and we'll have deliberations wrapped up in no time. We can't disappoint the children, can we? Understood, sir. We we'll hold the appearance the as scheduled. Mm. You know what? Why don't you call it a night? Good night, then.
It took us a while. Good news, I hope. I finally found it. The party chair's secret weapon. Turns out it was on the other side of the great wall of muscle this whole time. You like spinning now? <laughs> Go figure. If you have any of our visitors from Kansai you can spare, I could use the extra hands. <laughs> That's fine. We're already more than well staffed in Tokyo. I'm willing to send you all the manpower you'll need. Let's see, this probably has some juicy details. Ryu Aoki, current governor of Tokyo, age 42. That's even the same age as the young master. Don't freak out. Maybe it's all a coincidence. Hmm. It's not. Says Aoki was a shut-in until he was 20. Then he suddenly took off for America. He took political econ courses at Harvard, where he became close friends with Hajime Ogasawara. So great about Harvard. Then they came back to Japan. She... You know, I think they founded Bleach Japan that year. Maybe by then he was already making all his shadowy plans. Ugh. Bleach Japan's agenda is hardly shadowy. In fact, it was pretty damn heartwarming for lots of folks. Seeing those youngsters demand decency, and Aoki's popularity skyrocketed. He was on magazine covers, on TV. He was in the public eye every day. Got a gig as a commentator eventually. That's right, and then he entered politics. He left Ogasawara in charge of Bleach Japan. Looks like he didn't win the governor race by a landslide exactly. But now, his approval rating is 80%. Plus, he's got no political enemies. Life's good for him. Are there any articles that say he has another name? That's what I want to know. I don't see anything like that. But I still think you're jumping to conclusions. I wouldn't write off what Kasuga's saying, though. There's a lot of stuff that'd make perfect sense if it turned out Masato Arakawa is the governor. Y yeah Like what? Like his sudden gain in political support that I was just talking about. Mm. That was all because he destroyed the Tojo clan with his Kamurocho 3K plan. Was that the plan to wipe out all the Yakuza? Yeah. After he rolled it out, the Tojo officers vanished from the city like so much smoke in the wind. Vanished? Yeah. I mean, they probably just fled the city out of panic. They knew they were on the verge of getting busted. 3K plan enacted a bunch of new anti-Yakuza hmm, laws. Chad is a little slow, the cops so had a smorgasbord of violations to pick from. They could have booked the whole damn Tojo clan. I mean, the chat so, is yeah, a little behind. I assume the officers skipped town when they saw the cloud of charges hovering over them. Definitely sounds like they were backed into a corner. Right. Although it wasn't really the 3K plan itself that made them feel trapped. It was more because the Tojo's internal affairs got leaked to the police. And I'd bet my life the guy who leaked it was Masumi Arakawa. Huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You think mm -hmm. the patriarch of the Arakawa family colluded with the governor? Well, if the governor is Masato like Kasuga thinks, then it's all in the family. <laughs> Forget collusion. That's just plain nepotism. Hey, it would also give Arakawa a reason to betray his clan. He was more loyal to his son than he was to the Tojo clan. Most men would be. Most men, yes, but not Arakawa-san. Well, if you say so, but you have to admit, my theory makes sense. Yeah. Arakawa is human. Behind. And what's more human than wanting the best for your child? Parents, yeah. even Yakuza parents, will do anything for their kids. <sighs> yeah, you guys were like 
one minute behind. Like 60 seconds behind. One thing I don't get. How did the young master hide his past? A Yakuza can't become governor. Well, maybe he bought a family he register. He changed his, his name. You can just buy one? Yep. Well, it's easier to create a fictional person than you think. Yeah. Doctor up a photo, slap on a false name, and file a fake official register. I mean, you can get by on that for a good while. As long as no one takes a deep look at your file, of course. Otherwise, it falls apart real quick. Well, of course it does, if it's all lies. Right, but if you altered an existing register, instead of making one from scratch, the lies wouldn't be so obvious. Now, I'm thinking there was probably an actual shut-in named Ryo Aoki. Masato mm. bought or stole Aoki's family register mm. and is impersonating him. Is taking someone else's family register really that simple? I never said it was simple, but it is possible. Especially if you've got Identity money theft. or the right connections. Don't you think, Kasuga? The young master would have had the money and connections to do it. So yeah, I can see it. But why would he go to all that trouble? To hide his Yakuza background. Of course. So he could be governor. Exactly. The public would never accept a politician with Yakuza roots. Exactly. Ichiban, who told you that Masato was dead? One of my senpai from middle school, back in Kamurocho. It was just the other day, actually. Maybe the Arakawa family started spreading that rumor around themselves. Yeah! Yeah, yeah, I think so! The whole family's in Hold it! Hold on! Hold the hell on! How is it Aoki, Aoki walking? Exactly! What? What is, is his it? his legs better? The young master couldn't walk. He used a wheelchair. The governor can walk. Oh, then they can't be the same person. How could he hide a disability like that? Well, the article said Aoki studied abroad in the U.S., right? Maybe he got surgery there. No, the doctor said he was wheelchair-bound for life. Well, maybe here in Japan that's true. But sometimes you can get procedures done in the U.S. that uh, aren't available here. Hey, who's the guy who looks like there's a stick up his ass? That's the police commissioner, Orinouchi. Oh, your eternal rival. <laughs> I think I've test. seen him before. What? Wait, wait, let me see his face. Sometime before I went to prison. Uh, but when was it? Oh! That dude! Oh, right! I saw him at a cabaret club I took the young master to. Is that what you Yeah. Horinouchi was this dude that the young master's favorite girl was in love with. Ah. So the governor and the police commissioner used to be rivals in love. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bet that made for a awkward meeting. Yeah, I'm <laughs> sure they remember each other, especially if Ichiban does. I wonder what all went down. Wait, are you guys still upset? Damn. It's been 20 years. Kamo's you guys just still looking upset like a over pretty this big girl? piece of the puzzle now. But I can't really put it all together yet. Confusing ass mess. Are you guys still upset? Uh, no point in dwelling on it right now. That girl? Let's call it a day. I'm beat. But guys, remember what Mabuchi said? The Omi Alliance is going to invade. You can sleep after hearing that? Okay, but it's like three years Hell yeah. Now. It's not like we can do anything about it when we're tired. Good point. Some Let's head like back me. and hit the hay. We don't even need to head back. Huh? You can sleep hey, here? Barkeep! Remember when I asked you about that room on the second floor? No, I'm not hydrating. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. I cleaned it up for you. Well, it's all you yours. Have a scar on your face? Did you get hurt? <laughs> or nice. Thanks. What room? There's some vacant space on the second floor. All right, they're using it for storage right now, but I asked if we could use it as a hideout. I mean, your place definitely has its mood and all, but it was uh, mm -hmm. uh. kind of cramped. Here we'll have more room. Plus, at night, we can do hey, it. Extreme effort! Extreme effort! It says stream stat is excellent.
It doesn't say that there's anything wrong with this dream here. On my end. Yeah. Yeah, you might have to refresh. It doesn't say that there's any anything wrong on my end. So it actually might just be YouTube. No. Down here and then just stumble up to bed. How's that for convenience? Uh, yeah, it is great, but... You sure you're okay with this, pal? Yeah. Whatever. The room wasn't being used for anything, so it's no skin off my nose. Besides, I don't know how, but I heard you're fighting for the people of this town. And well, I'm not so desperate that I can't offer a shabby old room to a hero and his party. Wow, dude. Thanks! Oh, so we'll nice. keep the room as neat as you keep your bourbon. Hmm. <laughs> Smooth. <laughs> wow. Enough with the whiskey puns, you two. You will drive me to drink. <laughs> hey, if you don't like my jokes, you can forget about using the rum. <laughs> Damn. Dealing with the threat of an army alliance invasion. Like top of the like, right? Totska from the Saving Clan. Totska, huh? How'd he look? He had a whole bunch of his boys with him. I think they're going to bar, going bar to bar asking about him. How do they know I'm in that bar? I'd steer clear of my place for a bit. Gotta go. Wait, I'm go son! Hey. What did she say? Totska's probably 
Tosca's apparently out searching for us, so she says we gotta stay away from her shop. Huh? Well, I thought Tosca was... Okay. Yeah, I thought the Sadie clan came down hard on him for the whole retirement home scam. Which means we should probably go see for ourselves. Even though she literally just told us to stay away. <laughs> You're welcome to stay behind if you want. Hey! You, but I'm going to. disturbed you during your recovery, honey Amazon. Can you tell us what happened out there? Honey Amazon, have you had any further contact with Anzai san since the incident? No, none at all. Just an apology okay. from a representative. Anzai san insists the play was entirely his doing. He performed a dangerous slide despite the fact that he was in the clear already. How did you see things, honey Amazon? That's not far off, but I don't believe he made that call on his own. We understand that Anzai-san is an old friend of yours. What sort of player was he back then? They say playing as number four next season is a fool's what errand. What are your thoughts on that? There are even game. rumors Anzai-san will be leaving the Yokohama Shark Stars. Well, is he a baseball person? Famous baseball player or not, these reporters are ruthless. Hey, please, no pushing. Ah! Oh. Ah! Hey, this shit's serious. You all right, man? Oh, thanks. Honey, Amazon, we still have some questions. Hey, did you just you apologize for pushing him over? Yeah, I, I didn't. Assholes. This guy's injured, and you don't even think to say sorry? Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm sorry. Shake like the air and think to say sorry! Sheesh. You guys are hopeless. Thank you. <laughs> Can you stand? Here, grab my shoulder. Thank you. Um, Kasuga-san, was it? I'm Hanayama. Might not look it right now, but I'm actually a baseball player. So, that leg, that because of your friend Anzai? Well, Being an athlete's not all it's cracked up to be, huh? You could say that. This whole thing is really starting to make headlines. You haven't heard? Sorry. I tend to keep my distance from that stuff. From what the reporters were saying, Anzai acted on his own. I don't think so. He's not the type to do something like that. Pretty kind words about a guy who put you in a cast. We were in the same baseball club from elementary all the way through high school. His accuracy's always been perfect, so... No way this was an accident. But he cared about the team with all his heart was always a true sportsman on the field. He put the bond with his teammates above all else, even winning. I just can't believe this thing was all his idea. Even if that were true, he's still the one who made the play, right? You saying someone ordered him to do it? I'm thinking it was the Yokohama Shark Stars shifty manager. That's Anzai's team, if you didn't know. The manager? Why do you say that? Since the new manager stepped in, the Shark Stars have been locked in second place. It's not going to change anytime soon. 
Hell, people were saying the new manager would have to retire before the ink on his contract dried. Unless they got a win, of course. And if they could pull off winning the last game, they probably would have won the season. So the guy got impatient and ordered Anzai to take you out. I'm guessing there's some reason Anzai couldn't say no, right? That's what I'm thinking. But Anzai swears he did it on his own. Speaking of which, I'm surprised you're willing to hear me out. Anzai is basically public enemy number one right now. Even if he is your friend, nobody be willing to defend someone they knew was lying. I like you, Kasuga-san. You know what's up. It makes me think I could trust you with a favor. A favor? I'd like you to meet with Anzai and find out what really happened. With the shape I'm in, I can't exactly hop across town. Meet with Anzai? But if you can't even get to him, how can I? There's a place on Hamakaze Street he hangs around in. Usually in disguise. Probably there now. The... Uh, in disguise? Are you sure you'd want you sharing that? I'm sharing because you did me a solid. Because you don't just believe whatever the mob believes. Rare thing. Uh, look, I'll I'm make it worth your while if you help me out thinker. with this. I'm really gonna say no after all that. Bob, but... Yeah, fine. Hmm. I'll go ask him for you. Oh, thanks, Kasuga san. Oh, here, let me give you this. Money? You have fiber. And when you come over, yeah, when you come over. Is there food there too? In your house? His looks might have changed a bit, but this should help you find him. I'm counting on you, man. Off to Hamakaze Street. Oh, wait! I can't go over to a police house. <laughs> One time I was like, I just wanted to joke, okay? I just wanted to talk. I just wanted to see how my mother would react. this
It's Nancy. Is this? Hmm? No. Hmm. What's this? Hmm? But didn't that guy's like a no. blue mark or something on his back? Hmm? Hmm? No. What's this? Hmm? No. Kasuga-san, uh, did you find Nancy yet? Yeah, this is Nancy, right? Oh, Nancy! Oh, thank goodness you're safe and sound! I'm amazed you actually found her! Oh, I'm sure it was no easy task. Yeah, it wasn't a big deal. Besides, I started this mess. Thanks for being cool. Anyway, I gotta bounce. You and Nancy take care. Oh, can't you stay a while? I was just about to start cooking. I'd be more than happy to treat you. And you thanks cooking? for finding my girl. Well, I don't know. Oh, don't be modest. I've been planning a feast for some time now, so I say the more the merrier. I guess I could stay and have a bite then. Before we get That's to the main piece? course, hey, why don't you try this little yeah. appetizer I whipped up? Just huh? the appetizer. What is this? Looks kind of like boiled spinach. Mmm, kind of rubbery, but not bad, old timer. Glad to hear it. What and you it? swallowed it just fine? Yeah. Yeah. Why wouldn't I have? Uh, the thing is, uh, those are weeds I found in a hole in the road. Yeah. Mm, couldn't tell you what they are, though. <laughs> but seeing as you're still kicking, I'd say they're just yeah. fine. <laughs> Gee, thanks. Next time, test your road weeds on someone else. What? You're stealing one piece, aren't you? Besides, you're getting a free meal, so how about seconds? Okay, what is your meal yeah, made I'll of? pass. You're a real piece of work, you old coot. At any rate, we're just getting warmed up. 
Our main course today is what I call the Ebihara Special. No! Hey, what's that got to do with Nancy? <laughs> what else? I told you we were feasting, didn't I? Why Nancy you... here is the main course. What the hell? Have you lost it? I thought you cared about Nancy. Oh, yes, I, I care about her deeply. This little sea bug's a cut above the rest. Uh, oh, she's the tastiest one I ever did yeah. see. So she's just a meal to you? Hey, to us homeless folk, crawfish are a godsend. And to get her plump and fit, I took her out daily to toughen up her limbs. Yeah. I worked so hard to sculpt her into a meal, I nearly had a heart attack when you chucked Jeez. her in the river. You should have said that before. I thought she was your pet, man. Why else would I bust my ass to find her? <laughs> You're not wrong. Then here, you get first dibs. You deserve it, Ichiban. No. But nothing like the first crunch of a fresh crustacean. Here goes. Hold on a sec. What's with you? Freshness is fleeting, you know. I... Uh, could you hold off on devouring Nancy? Just huh? buy him a oh, meal. What are you saying? Now's the best time to chow down. The thing is, I kind of got attached to Nancy. All that searching gave us a real bond. What? Yeah. You bonded with a sea bug? Hey, you're the one who named her and took her for a walk. Well, now we have a problem. I've been waiting for days on end to sink my teeth into Nancy. And I can't think of much else that'd give me that kind of satisfaction. Damn. However, if someone were to bring me something just as tasty, yes. I might reconsider. Perhaps I could be persuaded with, I don't know, a premium sushi set? Oh, come on. Now you're just milking it. Let's get Sorry, sushi. I don't have many options here. A premium sushi set would really set me right. Unless you intend on kissing Nancy goodbye. Okay, fine. I'll bring you your goddamn sushi. Oh, please do. And don't be long.
Which one is it? Which one is peeing in the river? Far left? Second from left? Second from right? Far right? I'm actually kind of salty because I feel like I'm missing, like, a secret that everybody knows but I don't know. <laughs> Answer truthfully! Don't troll, don't troll. Answer truthfully. Okay, I also hydrate. Okay. Most people said far right, but second from right is also very close. Now it's tied. Guys! Far left or second from right? One or three? Yeah. Well, I thought it was the far right. <laughs> but maybe he's not peeing, but maybe he's just... Uh, I really have to pee. So I'm looking like... And he's like... Doing the thing where he like... Like, ah, I have to pee, ah, and so you like wiggle around and your hands are... Hands are between your legs and like that. Far left. 
You just got here, okay. Look at these dudes. Look at the posture of each of these dudes. One of them is peeing. In the river. Which one is it? Okay, so the... I thought it might have been far right, but... Nobody's voting for that one. That was the most suspicious posture, but... Sleeves though. Okay, but why couldn't it be number four? Because number four has his hands all the way down and he's just grabbing his pee pee <laughs> and swinging it back and forth wildly. Go. Hey, buddy, you're on your citizen's arrest. Little tink, little tinkle here and little tinkle there. Man, if you're doing what you think you're doing, you better stop. Huh? Hey, what? Jeez, you son of a. of, of a beaches. I just splattered myself. I take it you're the public urinator then. Oh, is that what you think of me? Treating me like I'm some kind of criminal. Dude, you are a criminal. And only thinks he can take a sprinkle wherever he wants, whenever he wants, is definitely on the wrong side of the law. Talking. Who cares? It's not like this affects anybody. Stop projecting your pissing problems on me. I'm not the only one complaining. People have been saying you're polluting the river. Okay, the river is kind of already polluted. 
<laughs> Pit polluting more like invigorating. I'm just spreading the nutrients. Come and get some. <laughs> No. See, this is exactly the way the culture ought to be. To cut those sheets out. Boy, you really like to rain on my parade, don't you? What, what I have, sir, is a gift. A passion for the public and public expression. <laughs> a passion for the public and pubic expression. <laughs> You don't have to read every line of that. Not to stop, you don't have to read every line of that. The enemy is defeated. Yeah, he didn't wash his hands. All right, now come along quietly and zip it up, man. Be decent. Well done, Kasuga-san. You've done a fine thing. I try. But why are you so dead set on urinating in there? Why do these other guys who are right next to the sea Have them? you ever wondered what it's like to drizzle into nature's sweet embrace? What? You no. get me, right? No. Nope, not at all. All right, weirdo. Let's hear the rest at the station. Damn! Looks like my luck's Not running dry. Right. Thank you for the super chat. Thanks for being so cooperative. Here's a little something for helping out our investigation. Finding it on this toilet paper. You see any other suspicious individuals? You contact me immediately. Got it? And you get a move on. <sighs> Glad that's over. So, mm -hmm. boys, pee. They just. Mm, to be honest, I kind of have to take a leak too. They just bounce up and down like that. Yeah, no. Better just find a restroom. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Like I said before, this is my merchandise. None of it is trash. Hmm? Huh? I had spilled enough from your property. Surely you can't mean. Huh? I take it you've heard, never heard of a little thing called roadside business? Lots of places have flags and signs outside. You got a problem with those? <laughs> I just wish people from the welfare office would treat me like they do everyone else. Oh. Hey, wait. We're still not done talking. So that's the owner of that pawn shop. Not too big. I'm picking up, is he? Oh, what am I going to do? Yes, merch. Buy my voice back. It is extremely embarrassingly dirty. Hey. It's so dirty, dirty, dirty. I cannot listen to it. Yes, I wrote it, so nobody forced me. But it's it's very embarrassing. I'm Kasuga, and I'm kind of new in town. Sounds like the neighbors are pretty up in arms about this. Services and we have a lot. Uh, maybe I can think of sound like a little bit like a nerd. Like a nerd.
to see you. <sighs> I guess I am making a name for myself here. Too bad it's all it's for all the wrong reasons. I'm Cargo. I work for the public division of welfare. Defin division of welfare, huh? Sounds like you have a lot on your hands. Well, that's the nature of the job. Still, this place has been a real thorn in my side. I'm holding my nose down. He's saying it's a pawn shop, right? Correct. The owner, Gomi son. Gomi means trash! Keeps saying that all this trash is his merchandise, which of course prevents us from removing it. That said, it was indeed a pawn shop in one point. But after his wife passed, but after his wife passed away, he became somewhat of a recluse, and the shop turned into the trash heap you see in a day. Wow. Uh-huh. I don't know if it's because I'm younger than him or what, but he refuses to listen to a word I say. Oh. So now I'm caught between an angry hoarder and an angrier neighborhood. Sigh. Man, even I'm starting to feel bad. I don't... Ah, thank you. I'll get Gomi some right away. Yeah. Never would have guessed there would be a doorbell there. What is it now? Like a yakuza. <laughs> wow, I see. So even the welfare office is in their pocket. Is that it? Ah, I'm not sure where you're getting at. This is Kazuga-san. He recent, just recently moved in. He wanted to express his feelings about the sh 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 state of your shop. Yeah, I bet. Come on, that guy's a Yakuza through and through. No, I'm not Yakuza. I'm just another citizen like you. Sup? So, tell me, you ever think about cleaning all this crap up? Huh? It's not crap! This is a pawn shop! And that is all respectable merchandise! I'm not getting rid of it! <sighs> Yo, this is sound like he's too big and changing his tune. Mm. He sure is stubborn. There's gotta be something that'll win the sky over. Did I hit him with the guilt? With the guilt of his wife? Clean it up. That still implies that his stuff 
is trash. So he's like, hey, I'm here, I'm cleaning up this is not trash. This here is like if I buy it, if I treat it like it's actual merchandise. Hmm. This is more stuff. But this right here. Well, yeah, I'm in the gut. Ian, please make up your mind. You've said ten, three, one! Pick one! Please vote. Outside, I'll hydrate again. Okay. Really, three? I think three is very harsh, but. Three is very harsh. What's up? Hey, you sit on this place with your wife, right? Huah! Now it's covered in a mountain of trash. I can't imagine she'd be happy about it. <sighs> Bastard! You take that back! I was just thinking about the word. about the word bastard. Okay? When I was super, 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 super little, right? Super, super little. I used to like, like, too little to go to school. I used to hear my mother refer to a specific person as ha, that bastard. And all this time, I thought she was saying basket. So I thought calling somebody a basket was an insult. Huh? Yeah, what do you know about me? How could you possibly know what I feel right now? Did I ever call somebody a basket? Probably in my head if I was mad. Until I learned the actual word. Hey, break! We're done talking here. Can't say I didn't see this coming. It's usually the part where I get chased no. off. No, I don't think this is gonna chase us. Mm hmm. Hmm. People fight. Just couldn't leave me alone, no matter how much I asked. You pushed me to the edge. I think we should have just bought it all. Die! Die! Oh, no. I think we should fight. 
chance. Suppress, eh? Right. Ready? Yeah. We'll meet you. <laughs> You ever thought about getting rid of all this trash? Yeah, but it's not just trash. It's memories of my wife. Memories? Sorry. I used to run this place with my wife. We didn't make much, but life was good. Right. I heard this place used to be legit. Then one day, my wife collapsed while tending the store. By the time they found her, it was too late. And she passed on. <laughs> uh, despite her health, she worried about the shop until the very end. And the worst part is that I was off goofing around while my wife was hard at work here at the shop. I've never forgiven myself. It's my fault she's gone. If I had just been at the shop that day, she would have lived. <sighs> to think I wasn't there for her. Gomi-san, I tried to keep the place going by myself, but then a thought crossed my mind when I was helping a customer. What if she appraised this? How might she have felt about it? I asked. Thinking about it that way, I started to see everything in this place like it still had a little piece of her. But from then on, I got too scared to throw anything away. I feared I might end up throwing her away somehow. Next thing you know, the store's looking like this. I kept telling myself it was merchandise, but I could never bring myself to sell it. I knew I was being unreasonable, but I just... I can't say goodbye to these things. They're all I have left of her! <laughs> yeah, I get how you feel. And I'm sure it was tough losing your wife. But what about all that your wife worked so hard for, huh? What about that? <gasps> I didn't even notice this place was a shop until someone pointed it out to me. All I saw was a pile of trash. The place you two work so hard to protect is so covered up, nobody even knows it's here. If anything has a memory of your wife in it, it's none of that shit out front. I'd say it's the shop itself, yeah? Oh, Gomi-san, I think maybe it's time to bring this place back to its former glory. <laughs> oh, Kyoko! <laughs> I've contacted the office. They'll be out here to start cleaning up soon. I'm so sorry for letting things get like this. Might want to tell that to your neighbors instead of me. What are you gonna do now? I'm going to get everything looking like new and open up shop again. I hope you look like a clown. I don't like clowns. My wife gave her all for this place. If she's still watching over me, I should make sure it's something we can both be proud of. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'll stop by and pay you a visit sometime. Kasuga-san, thank you very much. I think my manager is going to be real pleased after today. Here, this is a token of my appreciation. Really? Thanks. And keep up the great work at the welfare division, man. If you ever get promoted, maybe you can sink a little more meat into the pork soup at the soup kitchen. <laughs> All right. I'll see what I can do. Anyway, I think I'm gonna take off. I'm just see ya. Yeah. Take care. I should give this cleaning up thing a shot one of these days. Can you leave your 
of lechery, like being a pervert. I'm at Nisaki Street, so can you come by? Can help me talk this guy down? Well, we can return. My love and appreciation. Uh, somebody clean up the kitchen for me. Please, can you come over and clean the kitchen for me? Need somebody to mop and wash the dishes for me and clean the stove. You get my love and appreciation and big hug, big hug. Pain voice packs. No, 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 I can give you a hug. It's very obvious, he's just trying to get some hush money. Um, Time to clean up! <clears throat> get bent! <laughs> eh? That's rude, like... Get bent! Don't waste my time. That's like an old rude term. Here we go. Let's go!
got this. Your bar destroyed? Huh? You boys do what you gotta do. Listen, Granny. I don't gotta do anything. It don't benefit me at all to wreck your place. So why don't you just tell me what I wanna know? Where's Are you okay? Folks said you would know. Hmm. If everyone told you to jump off a cliff, would you? <laughs> 
You should jump off a cliff, crusty old hag. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to hit so hard. It's been a while since I've punched a woman. <laughs> so, do you feel like talking yet, Grandma? An <laughs> older woman too, that! <laughs> Give it another swing. And this time, try to have better aim. Yes, sir. Cosmica, <laughs> you decided to show up. Don't in the river. Idiot. Why are you here? I'm the kind of guy who does whatever I'm told not to do. Son. <laughs> Don't think that I was trying to protect you guys or anything. It wasn't like that. Oh, <laughs> sure. You just didn't approve of these guys' bad manners, right? <laughs> You're too classy a lady. <laughs> yep. They just weren't up to my standards. Will you let us handle it from here, though? <laughs> yeah. I think you've got it. Here! Stop right there! Out of the way, you shit. <sighs> Wait, you just stepped aside, really? Are you already back in the chairman's good graces, Totska? <laughs> I don't care what he thinks of me anymore. I'm done with the old man. Okay. You are? Yeah, because the stupid Eugene Show standoff was a fucking scam! Our bosses forced us to sit on our asses no matter what happened. Meanwhile, they raked in the cash. Who told you that? Bleach Japan. They've been spreading the word. We're not gonna be a goddamn joke anymore. Hell, the chairman's acting like Laumann never even shot up our boys. <sighs> our captain left to raid Zhao's men, and now he's a guest in Zhao's restaurant. It's all bullshit, and we're not taking it anymore! My boys here agree with me. We're all together on this! You can't stop us, Kasuga. Even our brothers at HQ are ready to tear down Hoshino! Let me get this straight. You become top dog, and the first thing you want to do with that power is come after me? Sure. Come after you, tear you limb from limb, dump the pieces in the bay. Huh. Let's say you actually managed to pull that off. Then what? Then I'd take control of the counterfeiting racket, along with this entire fucking town! He still has all his fingers. Thank you. 
No Yakuza leader. Go play king of the playground at some park. If Hamako-san ever tells me you showed your sorry ass face around here, I'll roll you into a bamboo mat and toss you in the river. That's a promise. <laughs> we clear? Is it classy to say nice? We're clear. Does that mean I'm not classy because I, I, I do say nice? <laughs> Hello? It's Xiao. I'm really busy, so I'll make this quick. Okay. We underestimated Bleach Japan big time. Turns out the Omi Alliance is behind them. Yeah, yeah. From the start, totally their plan that. was to take out the EG3. Yeah, Lao Ma that. was just using you to get that done. Yeah. I was thinking the same thing. Wait, you already knew? Yeah. Ha! <laughs> and here I thought I was finally gonna get a thanks out of you. <laughs> so Maybe I shouldn't bother telling you the other stuff I know. Uh, do it just in case, you know? As we speak, Bleach Japan protesters are marching to call me Jewel. About a thousand of them. What? Wait, a thousand? Yeah, and the crazy thing is, they aren't civilians. They're only soldiers. It's a Yakuza invasion disguised as a political protest. Fucking coward. Seriously? They're gonna try and get at the counterfeiting machine. I just know it. The Great Wall's strength depends on that thing. So the Omi want to expose the Ichin 3's whole operation? They're just the muscle. The orders come from Bleach Japan. Bleach Japan knows all about the counterfeiting. And they figure if they destroy that, they'll destroy the Great Wall. Yeah, but that's where you come in. Assuming you still want to lend the Komi Jewel a hand. Why us? Why not your guys? I wish I could use my guys, but there's sort of a coup going on. What? Mahabuchi's been whipping all the boys into a frenzy. They ain't happy the counterfeiting was kept secret. And what? Now it's full on mutiny? Yeah. He's out there saying the EG3 bosses live the high life without sharing the wealth. A lot of my crew are buying it. My chances of getting a knife in the back are pretty high right now. And so are Chairman Hoshino's. So yeah, I'm not gonna send away what few loyal guys I got left. I get it. So can you help? Don't make me beg. 
You begging me might be interesting. Look, help us now and the EG3 will forget all about the non business. Really? Do I have your word on that? Yeah. I'll talk to him myself. They'll come around. We got a deal? We do. But I still feel like I'm getting the raw end of it. As long as you're taking it. Ah, shit, I'm out of time for chit-chat. But let me tell you one more thing. The guy giving these orders to reach Japan yeah. It's the director, Ogasawara. Yeah, we know. He hung up. He asked us to go help the Komi Jewel. Us? Help them? In exchange for letting Namba off the hook, right? Yeah, your hearing's good, Adachi. But did you also hear that Ogasawara's behind the whole thing? So I guess we'll be paying him a visit, too. Definitely. I've got a lot of questions for our pal Kume. Guys, got it.
いらっしゃいます。ありがとうございましたありがとうございましたThat's right. Exactly. When we're done here, the gray zones will be out. Come in. What you're hoping? What were you hoping for by to accomplish by coming here? I don't know this place is where this guy. And now, my son also got water. Be here to see this. Yeah. Stream status poor for me. Refresh. Yeah, refresh. He's our director, so he's leading the march. Pretty soon he's gonna shine the spotlight on this city's little counterfeiting problem. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to us, the day the great wall of muscle finally collapses is here. Yeah, thank 
think it's wise to be making fools out of us? Listen. Sounds like you, sounds like you owe him an apology. You do I'll make him stand down. Oh, you want me to grovel? Naturally, you can start by getting down on your hands and knees. <laughs> yeah, the whole nine yards, huh? Yep. Otherwise, you might not like the consequences. I'm the only one who can save you now. <sighs> Pretty lame threats for someone who thinks he's cleaning the world up. Your heart's as black as they come. You, you hussy. Wow, the real you is coming out now, huh? But if I'm a hussy, you're just the garbage under my heels. Come on! Female dog! <laughs> Are we not getting our point across? We'll never bow down to you. <clears throat> you're nothing but dang fuck. What a ballsy bunch of jokesters. Out country. What a... What a ballsy bunch of jokesters. It won't be very funny when I'm due through with you. Considering my greeting from the Indian 3. Let's do it. Here we go. Oh, so Not yet. You're gonna get stomped. Don't get cocky. Ore, ore. Ah. Check this out. Oh, 
hold it together. Your society's garbage. Let's go. Ridiculous! You figured to get away with this? This is a song! You attacked me first! We assaulted you? You can sink lower if you tried, man. Hey! I mean, at this point, I've gotta give you props. It was... It was how many of you guys just... How many of you got... How many of you against just us three? <laughs> Listen, did you even know these guys were only Yakuza? No! The director said they came to support us from the... from the offices of Bleach Japan out across the nation. Yo. You really didn't know? Be honest. Well... I did think they were a... rough-looking crowd. So you did have an idea something was off. But ignoring it was awfully convenient, huh? <sighs> Up yours! Yo! I mean, I'm no expert, but wouldn't you call that a grave zone? Sup? What's going on in Komiju? The protest is probably busting in by now. If not, it's only a matter of time. Rate them, not even Song Kui can scare them off. Hey, yeah. Either way, we've got to get mo we'd better get moving. Go back. I was thinking that. Maybe we should try blending in as protesters. Wow. Good idea. Yeah, that could be.
You see, I can stay up a little bit more. I'm tired, but I can still keep going on. Cut. The only chance energize me. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go get ready to bring that after this. So, thank you everybody. Thank you everybody for tuning in. Um... Tomorrow, members only stream! Members only stream! Okay, we're gonna be doing drawing requests. You turn in, you can ask me to draw something and I will draw it for you. Okay, I am not good at drawing, but I will try to draw for you. Mm -hmm. so thank you everybody for tuning in. Members only stream tomorrow in. Whatever, it's at the usual time. Okay, I can't do the math right now, I'm tired. So yeah, with that, I wish you a good morning, good day, good afternoon, good evening, good night, wherever you are in the world. Please take care of yourselves. Remember to buy my voice back, the sticky link, in the chat.